On the 24th of April, together with other organisations and MEPs in the European Parliament, we highlighted the important role of social services in the implementation of the European Pillar of Social Rights. The European Pillar of Social Rights is a major achievement of the European Union uh, within, in, in this uh, term. Uh, because we are actually pursuing a social agenda. If you look to the document, uh, like it is proposed, we have 20 articles and 10 out of them are concerning, in a way, the delivery of social services. What social services need are a flourishing ecosystem that allow us to have the right financing, the right legislative framework, the right policy framework to ensure that we can deliver what we know we can deliver. So we need to guarantee that the social services are able to persuade and to, uh, and to recommend the European institutions and the, the, the national governments and the regional governments and even the local authorities to shift and to change their policies so that we can actually guarantee that this social agenda is an effective social agenda. The question is now how can we through our networks with hundreds of thousands of people all over Europe working on the provision of social services, 11% of the workforce in Europe working in a way on the question of social issues, health and care services. How can we contribute to this work on the implementation of the pillar? That's where the social services play a crucial role, because as they are dealing with people uh, every day, they are the first ones to realize if the social policies do actually have a return or not. We need also to consider that social services is not only an expenditure but an investment. But we know how difficult it is sometimes looking to the budget restriction that are existing on local, regional and also sometimes on, on national levels. We need a legislative environment that recognises, particularly in the case of the members of Social Services Europe, that we are not for profit social service advisors, avoiding making uh, shareholders rich but actually looking to make society richer. The social is really at the core of the European Union and something is back on the agenda and we have contributed to it. To follow this event, we participated in the annual convention for inclusive growth and several of its side events on the 27th of April. The European Union and the Member States can, well, they, they both work towards the same objective, right? To have this uh, inclusive European society where everybody can participate and they should work together to achieve it because the EU can, can set the general frameworks uh, like the social pillar but also in directives and regulations and with European funding actually make sure that funding, European funding goes to uh, community-based services. And these services should be high quality services, they should be available, they should be affordable, they should uh, adapt to the changing needs of, of citizens. We have all this the, the principles that we want, the society we want, it's an inclusive society where everybody can fully participate. Um, in order to achieve this and in order to actually make sure we, we arrive at such a society, we need uh, community-based services. If we want to have the support systems and mechanism of the future, then they should be developed in close cooperation with the end user, with the persons that benefit from these services. So co-production methodologies should be further developed and the, the money coming from the European institutions, from European programs, should point in innovative directions. This is not only true for support services, it's true for all services like public transport services, employment services, they don't need to be uh, special support services, they need to be accessible mainstream uh, services and then when we have community-based services we will achieve actually the, the society set out also within the pillar of, of, of social rights. The money that is provided by the European institutions should go in the right direction and it should help us, it should help the sector to develop innovative methods and approaches. The member states can make sure that at their national level all the services that are like um, connected to it, like like uh, education, public transport, and, and all the different services, are uh, also like starting from a community-based perspective, and that the, the people living in the different countries are really involved in how to make sure this European framework gets materialized into concrete national actions. ESPD will keep working to make sure our voice is being heard in the core of the EU institutions.